So hey guys, I'm Aditya Dhakur and in this video, we are going to see how you can make your LinkedIn profile better. Uh, this will not only help you get better job opportunities and internships, but it would also help you build a strong professional network. And uh, all the points that I will discuss in this video are based on personal experience. And I'm also learning as we go, but I would like to share these points with you to help you make a LinkedIn profile better in the upcoming year. So let's get started. So according to me, there are basically uh, three pillars to LinkedIn success. Uh, the first is profile optimization. You need a good profile to showcase uh, to the recruiters, to everybody on this platform. Uh, the second point is network. So how good uh, connections you make on uh, LinkedIn and how, uh, you know, how good reach you have on this platform. So that is really important. Your network is really important. And the third point is your output. Like even if you do get an internship or even if you do connect with people, how are you, uh, you know, how are you giving yourself? Uh, uh, how, how good work do you do or how good are you presenting yourself? So these are all the three points uh, that are really important. So let's start with profile optimization first. So when you first open your LinkedIn, head over to view profile. So there are few points that I need to take off first off is your profile picture. So let's start with the profile picture. Uh, you can put whatever you feel good in. That's okay. But uh, keep your profile picture professional. And then there is uh, the cover image. A cover image is not important. But all, uh, but if you want to make a profile look better, you can go with the cover image. Cover images are really easy to make. You can go over to canva.com and simply search for a LinkedIn banner. Create a design. Search in for LinkedIn banner. So you will get the uh, you will get the template here. You can design it right here. You have some uh, options to choose from, and you can modify either of these templates and add your name and some uh, you know about your job description. So you can do that cover images. But then uh, you have your name. So uh, enter your full name right here. And then you have a small section which lets you describe yourself in, you know, uh, some characters. So this is uh, this part is really important. So you can either go with your job role, something you're looking for or something you're working with. You can type in your job description like I have Flutter developer and AIM UX UI UX designer. Or if you have certain position like um, you can put in uh, that SDE at Microsoft or some other company name. So this part is really important. You need to describe yourself. Or, or describe your job role so it is easier uh, also keep in mind this is the first um, you know description that people will look at it is visible uh, when you are uh, on your home page when you are uh, when people are viewing your profile so this keep this part is really important next we have the about section so this is a great opportunity you know put uh, to put yourself out there you can describe yourself tell about uh, your hobbies your passion what you want to do what you have done so far so this is really important. And one more thing to keep in mind, uh, which my friend uh, recommended was that your LinkedIn profile needs to speak for yourself. So you can write this in third person describing you. So you can write like Aditya is not I am or something like that. So that makes it a bit professional. Your LinkedIn profile speaking for you. Next, we have the feature section, but uh, right now this is not important. You can, as you post, you can uh, feature your top post uh, right here. So you can feature like uh, what good, uh, what things you did. Like I had the opportunity of becoming campus geek for the month. So I had, I did a live stream. Where I hosted Eddie Jord, who is a GitHub star. So I have put that up. I did a hands-on session on Flutter. So I have that up as well in one of my projects. But then we come over to the uh, important part. We have our experience section and we have our education section. So in experience, you need to add your job roles or past internships that you might have done. But if you don't have any experience of that sort, because you're just getting started with it, so you can leave this empty, but do add your education. So you can add what, uh, what school you went to, what uh, college you're currently studying in. So uh, optimizing these parts is really important to find you know connections on LinkedIn, you can find people from your same college or from same universities. Uh, this helps you, you know, look around uh, 
who else from your campus is using LinkedIn. So <clears throat> we'll take this up in the network part again. Then you have the licenses and certification. So right now, since we are in quarantine, this was a great time to complete some courses. And if you are done them, you can simply add them here. Whenever you complete a course, if you do it from LinkedIn itself, it will get directly get added by typing in add to your LinkedIn profile. But if you did it from outside, you can simply type in the name, the issuing organization, like you, it could be Udemy, Coursera or some other platform. And the date, uh, this credential does not expire. This is for uh, licenses. If your license expires, you can type in issue date and expiration date. But for certifications, you can check this here. And then you can put in the credential ID. So most, um, whenever you are issued a certificate, you're given a credential ID. You can put that right here and you can put the URL from where you can confirm where the recruiter can confirm your certification. So you can put that right here and save your certifications. So I have some certification that I have added right here. And like I did a crash course on Python. I have dev delivery and DevOps course I did, which was uh, very good so I have added that right here so next section uh, we have the experience section which it takes in the jobs and opportunities then we have the volunteer experience like something you aren't paid for or uh, you can add something you did as a volunteer means not specifically as a job so you can add that right here then you have the skills and endorsements so this is also an important part which we will take up in the network section but now do remember you can add all your skills like what are you proficient in like if you are like if i am a java instructor i've added java to my skills section and then i also did a linkedin assessment there are certain linkedin assessments available for some so there are certain linkedin assessments available for some of the languages and you can take these uh, to show recruiters that you are uh, accomplished in this particular skill and next we have recommendations so this i'll take up in the last part of your output these are important as well now one of the things that i want to op uh, tell you to optimize would be uh, the lower part of your profile where you have your projects so if you are an engineering student like me uh, this section is really important you need to show what you have done so far so you can add your github projects like uh, you did some projects in machine learning or some artificial intelligence, you made apps, websites, so you can add them right here and also add people who worked with you on these projects. So if the other person also has a LinkedIn profile, you can add them as well. And these are really good. So if somebody is viewing my profile, he needs to see what I have done. I have made an Android application. So you can see view this project directly from Play Store. So that is important. And you can add your languages. Some people do like to add their scores from different exams which isn't important, but you can add that as well. And then there are the interests, the companies you follow or the groups that you are part in. So that is all about the profile part. Now let's move over to network section. So when you first start LinkedIn, uh, you have like zero connections. You don't know people who to follow. There are some people I would recommend uh, following. I will link them down in the description. Uh, who make very good post uh, with LinkedIn and all that. But when you first start, try connecting with people from your campus. Like uh, they could be seniors or they could be people who have passed out or, you know, with uh, with the same educational background or people you might know. But once you reach a certain level, uh, you might not know people as well. So try connecting with people with similar interests. Like one of the things that I recommend is with the pandemic, a uh, number of hackathons and uh, dig events are, have gone digital. So they have like discord server where people of the same age are coming in to participate. So try connecting with people from there because they are of the same background there, like engineering students and they would want to, uh, would want to talk to you. So you can discuss about projects. You can take up a challenge like you can go over and participate in a hackathon. So uh, every hackathon has this introduction section where people give in their LinkedIn IDs. So try reaching out from there. And you can also use the my network section on LinkedIn. You know, it'll show you some people from your similar interests like 
some people with the same creative background but i wouldn't uh, recommend sending request because uh, it wouldn't help you as such you keep sending connection request to people um, you don't even know you don't even talk to so that's that's useless those connections aren't important like uh, you can either connect through hackathons like people with same interest you can reach out to them like uh, uh, hey do you want to work on this or do you want to do or something you can ask them like if if they are a mentor or, or if they know about a certain technologies it could be flutter or js so you can ask them questions about certain technologies only if they are interested to answer and the other thing you can do is if you see on your home feed somebody who is posting like something that is insightful if somebody is demonstrating their project somebody is doing 100 days of code or certain challenges that you want to follow that you want to see more posts like that uh, when i first started linkedin there was this girl who used to post about my sql and i was really learning about sql at that so it was only uh, better for me that i followed her and she used to put up these notes i used to go them okay uh, this is good so that is the type of connections that i want you to build when you first starting with linkedin also try to reach out to people so this could be through when when you're sending a connection request you can uh, give in a simple message hey i saw your profile and i would want to be part of a network looking forward to learning from you so that is a simple but engaging message you would receive a reply from the other person in some cases you don't receive a message but certainly it will start it will help you initiate a conversation so try at least reaching out to one person i know it will be difficult but try connecting over problems and try to connect over building certain solutions for them you know instead of just sending out follow request to people you don't even know so this is really important uh, because uh, i uh, i got my first technical internship through linkedin which was also because of the network i used to follow all these startups uh, when i saw one like okay this is a startup edutech startup so i followed it and one of the things they had was uh, when when the job opportunity opened up i reached out to the founder like okay i am interested in this job role and he really liked my profile so you have your profile optimized you were following that startup and you know what that startup does so when i reached out to him so he loved my profile and that gave me uh, you know a certain leverage over others so i knew about the startup i had a good profile so they hired me and that's how you get a uh, job roles on linkedin basically one more thing that uh, whatever network you build like if you are connecting with people who are just one year or two years seniors from you like so by the time you go to your fourth year or by the time you are up looking for jobs they would be in certain companies like they would be in uh, interns or engineer at a certain company and they can help you with job referrals so that is really important part <clears throat> about connecting with people of your age or just you know a year or two older than you so okay once you are set up with your profile you have like you have set up your profile uh, you have been uh, you have a great network the people are ready to offer you job then the last part of linkedin success is the output basically whenever you get a job role i expect you to work hard for it like uh, hard on it not for hard for it as well and on it as well so you did a great job you did great work at the job so what this does is it builds you know uh, your personal brand there so people really trust you with uh, something they would like if somebody reaches out to me they would trust me that i do it to the best of my level and after the work is done comes the third pillar of linkedin success which is endorsements and recommendations so if you do good people would recommend you for the uh, job roles they can give you endorsement for a certain skill on linkedin they can write you a recommendation but what they would do is recommend verbally to others linkedin is really easy you need to build your network you need to post every day if you need certain reach on this platform i wouldn't recommend posting up your certificates like we had a long uh, like there is often discussion on linkedin like should you be posting your certificates or should you be posting your uh, projects i would say certificates are good but certificates are just basically uh, you telling that i did this uh, if you are posting it for meaningful reach or something you want to showcase then projects are 
better because they show that you did something and there whenever you try to make something yourself the chances you would run into your problem so you can discuss those problems on linkedin as well you can tell about how you did this project what problems you ran into and something you can showcase so yeah that's it once you get started with linkedin you would figure out ways yourself to optimize your profile uh, you would want to you know spend time look up job opportunities help other people get uh, better opportunities so that is really meaningful thing to do so if you found <laughs> so if you found this video helpful uh, do consider subscribing to the channel and you can also connect with me on linkedin i try to post meaningful content there yes thank you happy new year to you as well aditya takur